Plastic Ponies, I am back with another video, and this will be my Briar, and part of my Briar Fest 2017 experience, but it's going to be divided into multiple videos, but this is just going to be uh, a review of the models that I got. Um, so yeah, let's get started. Okay, so this is my Nazardine model, uh, at least I think that's how you say it. Um, I've heard a lot of people with different variations of his name. It's Nazrudin or Nazrudin. Never really figured it out. But I am very pleased with this model. I do not have a horse on this mold. Uh, but I think his face is so adorable. Um, he is a gorgeous blaze, I think. Um, and he's an overall great model, um, except for a couple of flaws that he has. I don't know if you can see it. Right there. Uh, right there, like near his, on the, on the back end of his barrel, he has something on there and I don't know, I really don't know what it is. It, it, like whenever I looked at him in the box, he looked like it was just some kind of sticky stuff that had happened in the factory or whatever, or some paint something, but I thought that I could get it off and it doesn't come off, so. Um, technically I have another model of him, but I kept him in the box because I'm like that because I get two because we have two three-day tickets, but um, I keep, I take one out of the box and then I leave one in the box. And then another thing is with his paint, like his mane, um, now his tail, I've heard a lot of people, uh, saying that his tail would be weird, um. I don't think it's that bad. It could be worse, but I mean, I'm, I no model is perfect. Um, well, some of them I think are, but you know, this one isn't perfect, but I still love him. And of course he has the ultimate uh, stocking going on, a sock back here and another sock. And he is just an awesome model. So I'm really glad I got him. Now, since he does have the sticky stuff, I like to keep a blanket on him, and plus he looks really good in purple. Um, so I just keep a blanket on him, and, you know, he might get cold, I don't know. But yeah, I like to keep a, keep a blanket on him. And overall, I love this model. Love him. Now we will begin to move on to uh, the Briar Bazaar horses that I bought. I'm pretty sure I spent $58 in here, um, because if I'm correct, Marigold was 30 and he is a very, very gorgeous horse. I love getting these decorators, and he does say Briar Fe Ooh. Briarfest 2017 on his belly. Um, he is very pretty. I love these, and I got Ara Verde from last year, so... That just adds to my collection of Briarfest de decorators. And I just love all the mandalas on him and all the, he just reminds me of India. He just looks just like India, you know. If India were a horse, this would be the horse, so. Very gorgeous horse, pretty sure he was $30. Next we have Lotus and she's a little plushy. Now they did have another plushy, um, but I didn't get her because I couldn't afford her, um, but I did get this one, and she is eighteen. She was eighteen dollars, um, and I, I think she's adorable. I got one from last year. Um, I think Chiquita, yeah, um, and she is just so cute. I love all the all the Indian designs on her, and I I just kept the tag on her because I love keeping the tag on them. Really cute. So, very, very cute. Then here we have Navia, I believe is how you pronounce it. So here's this little bag. You can see it's very silky and it's a drawstring. And on the inside, it's just white silk, you know, just to protect the horse. Um, and then this is the actual horse and I love, absolutely love all the bubbles inside of him. I say the more bubbles, the better because he's just so pretty. I, I just love the little lotus flowers, I believe, on his hindquarters, and I love his shading, and I think I really got a good model, because whenever you buy them, you don't know which ones you're getting, so you can't look at them, you just mm, take a lucky draw, so 
very very pretty very pretty so yeah I really like him and I believe he was 10 I think yeah I'm pretty sure he was 10 and I did manage to get to Char now he wasn't in the Briar Bazaar but uh, one of my family members got a single day ticket and she came on Saturday so we went up went to pick up the single day stable mate and I really 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 loved this model so whenever I went up to the desk we um, we asked do you have any two chars left she she glances over the box and then she pulls one out and she says this is the last one so I think my luck definitely was there that day <laughs> um, so I'm really glad I feel like this is more special to me now because it was the last model that they had so and I, I don't think they made him in a, into a stable mate that often but I'll, I don't know that much about stable mates um, but yeah I am in love with this Appaloosa he has awesome coloring too and he's just so cute he reminds me of the ornament um, that they have and I'm he's in the same pose but he's just stable mate style and then this is his little box very cute I love the purple and then on the back it just says gateway to India so single day stable mates so yeah um, got him free and I love him so much okay so moving on to special runs the lovely special runs I was totally obsessed with them this year I was so happy that I could go to Briarfest and get some of these. Now, since I only had $308 and I wanted to spend like $35 on raffle tickets for the Saturday raffle, which I did not get one, <laughs> so I think I learned my lesson, but I couldn't afford another special run, which I probably couldn't have anyway because it was only $35, and last time I checked, Special runs didn't cost that much. Or that least, or whatever you want to call it. So, uh, I got Saffron. And I got the glossy version of him. He is very, very gorgeous. Um, I do not have one on this mold. This is the Geronimo mold, I believe. And, person, okay, you can even see the shimmer on him from here. I don't know if you can see it, but I can definitely see it. And I love his little leg bars and his and his little stockings. I don't know if, it's, if that's a stocking or not. I'm pretty sure that's just a sock. But he does have almost, well, not, not a bald face, but an extended blaze or whatever you want to call it. Um, and he is a dun. You can see the dorsal stripe. And I don't know if this is supposed to be it or not, but it looks kind of like uh oh what's his name the little donkey from last year uh but it's it's the little cross on his back and i think his mane covers the rest of it up but he does have a little spot on his blaze which is adorable um and i feel like this eye is more detailed than the other one because you can actually see the light on that one and then whenever you go and look over at this one big difference which I still love him, still love him, um, and his tail, love his tail, because that's one of the main reasons I got the the model was because of his tail. I love the tail on the Geronimo mold, so I'm really pleased with this horse, um, and he was $55. Now I am super excited to show you guys this model. He was my other special run, and I will tell you he is a Bollywood surprise. Um, and I did get the buckskin version of him, the matte buckskin. Um, very, very excited about this model. Um, as you can see, he just has dapples everywhere. Um, and he has the detailed horseshoes. And he has three socks. One without, one hoof without sock. Without a sock. And he has excellent shading, I think. And um, I've heard that there are two mo versions of this model. Um, there's the gelding, and then there's the stallion. The stallion has the longer tail, I believe. 
But I did get the gelding. Um, and he has the Briarfist stamp on his belly for authenticity. Um, here's the other side of him. His horseshoes are very detailed. I don't have one on this mold. And I think my fa one of my favorite parts about him is his face. Um, his face marking is super, super adorable. Um, it extends to under his, on his, uh, bottom lip. And I also love his eyes. Look at them. Look at them. Uh, his eyes are super detailed. And I am so glad that Briar did brown eyes. Now, there are three other versions of this one. But, I heard that the other two, there are two that are geldings and two that are stallions with a longer tail. I don't know which is which, but I know that the, the buck skin is definitely a gelding with the shorter tail. Um, but the thing is, I think, okay, I don't, just so you know, I really don't have good luck. <laughs> so, it, I, and I didn't see many people with this one, so I think it's a rare one. Um, let me know in the comments if it is or if it's not, but I don't, I didn't see many people with this one. The others were the Pentalooza and two other paints. One's a Tobiano and one is a Chestnut Overo paint, I believe. Um, but the Chestnut Overo has, like, I've heard that he has gray eyes and I, I kind of wish that they would have, well, I kind of wish that I'd got that one, but I like this one a lot better. Like, every time that I look at him, the more I look at him, the more I love him. So, I think he's probably my holy girl. <laughs> so, yeah. Um, and the Bollywood Surprise, I believe, was $85. Now, I only got one store special, and I knew I had to have him. Uh, his name is Repeat the Beat. Now, I looked all over, and, like, Whenever I went on Friday, I was planning on getting them Friday, but whenever we went in the Briar store, like we waited in a line. Well, it wasn't that big of a line, but you know, it was still a line. <laughs> um, so we finally got in the Briar store and we looked at a table um, that had like three Dalian Spankies on it. And we looked around, we, we went around the store like twice and tried to see if they had any repeat the beat models didn't see any so we went up to the woman and we asked do you have any repeat the beats left um and she said they had just sold out 15 minutes ago and i'm like no so but she said that they would have more the next day because they don't they only give out so many each day but uh i got them on saturday like early morning because i did not want to miss him i like this was one of my main priorities at Briarfest because I just love him. Uh, his face marking is adorable. Uh, and I do not have a horse on this mold except for now. Um, now he does have horseshoes. He's got the striped hooves. Uh, he's got a little knee marking. He's got all kinds of belly markings. They're just everywhere. Everywhere. Um, and he's got the beautifully shaded tail. And he is a blue roan, I believe. But there are some sections that he looks like reddish, but super pretty. This is this one. This one looks like a girl. This just this pose just looks like a girl. Does it not? It looks feminine. Feminine. So they he has very awesome lip markings and his eyes are beautiful and I just love all the little speckle speckles. Um but yeah, I absolutely love this model. Couldn't be more pleased with this one. And I think Repeat the Beat was $75. Okay, so this is the moment you've all been waiting for. Well, I guess what I've been waiting for because I'm sure you guys think that this is all the models that I got, but no. Um, I actually got another one and I was not expecting this at all, but I was super excited. So this year was, this is my actually second year doing a three day pass or ticket at Briarfest. And so last year I was originally planning on doing the diorama contest, but I never got everything together. So 
you know, I was going to do some kind of like stable mates parade float for carnival, but you know, it was kind of stereotypical and you know, I felt like some of the props weren't very real and I never got a base. So, you know, that just didn't work out. But this year I was like, you know what, I'm going to stay dedicated to it. And there was this moment where I just kind of quit, but then we got it all together real quick at the end and I looked at it and I'm like, I love this, but I don't know if it's a winner because I've seen a lot of really good dioramas. So anyway, I'm going to uh, tell you the story. Uh, in my age group, I got seventh place and I just kind of stood there because I didn't think, because I read somewhere that only first place gets the model. And so I just kind of stood there. <laughs> um, so uh, someone had to come down and tell me that I needed to go get my model. And so I was like, oh my goodness, I get a model. So I was super excited. And this year's model was Sona and I got him. Look how pretty. Okay, I, I thought I'd never like this model only because it just kind of looks kind of stocky. But he, I mean, seriously, Briar, you have, uh, you have definitely outdone yourself. You know, he kind of, now that I look at him again, he kind of reminds me of Make-A-Wish. And I love Make-A-Wish. I do not own her, but I'm looking for her. Anyway, so I got Sona. Uh, here is his adorable, adorable face. I mean, just look at that. Look how pretty. Uh, I think he is another one of my holy grails. And look, even the, the shading out from the muzzle and it blends in perfectly. He has brown eyes too. I am a fanatic over horses with, like briar horses with brown eyes. And his, and his stockings, super detailed. And he has the briar fist stamp on his belly. And his mane and tail, and look, you can see it, it's shimmery. Look at that. And they're very detailed around here. And especially with his dapples. So, super, super excited about that and I was going to pick up my diorama Friday I mean not Friday but Saturday after they had announced that I won a prize um but they had closed <laughs> so I had to pick it up Sunday which was totally fine because Sunday was more of a relaxed day so I've actually got my diorama right here and here it is I did an Indian market to be specific, the Mumbai market. And I will even read off the card to you guys. It says, Welcome to the Mumbai market, the most diverse market in all of India. Hungry? Stop by our fruit tent to purchase some fresh balsa berries or mangosteen. Have a special occasion coming up? No problem. We have many different colors in our vibrant tikka powders. We also have many beautifully hoof-sewn rugs made for any household and professionally made saddles. Enjoy your shopping experience here at the Mumbai Market. So I decided to make it sort of like an ad. You know, I thought it would be something different. So this, the base is made out of wood and I painted the exterior like the, the edges pink. Uh, the inside I made a little purple and then the outside is actually a darker purple. Actually, um, So this is one side. I printed out some mandalas. Now I did color these myself, but I printed some of them out and then I put the logo. And I did the same thing with the other side, but just different mandalas. Uh, so yeah. And then, so this horse is selling tikka powders. Now those are just little, little powders that they buy by the bowls. And then you grab them and you throw them up in the air. It's kind of like a um, religious thing. So, um, I did make little signs, you know, kind of like if it were in Hindi, um, and then I, uh, had this horse selling saddles, and he's wearing the saddle himself, poop, and then this horse, okay, this horse is selling rugs, and we made some of the rugs, we made the pile right here that you see, right here, and you see the red carpet. Um, uh, but the back, the background one, this one right here, 
that is actually bought so oh and I forgot to show you the sign for the saddles and then of course the sign for the rugs and then the last one which is like the main attraction or whatever you want to call it is the fruit stand now I okay yeah, I bet you're wondering, how did you get the fruits? Well, I actually made those. These are banana fruits or banana flowers. And then the mangosteen and the fossil berries that I talked about in the description. And there's, of course, a sign for the, for the fruit. And then there's a customer. And, of course, they had to put a little tag for my diorama. But I got 7th place and I'm super excited about that. Even though it wasn't first, I don't really care. I got a model and I'm happy. <laughs> so yeah, not only did I get a model, but whenever we, I even thought of this, whenever we were getting ready to um, pick up my diorama, um, I wonder if I got a ribbon. Because every participant gets a ribbon. But I didn't know if I got a big ribbon or not because I just got 7th place. Anyway, I'll show you the ribbon here in a minute. This is a certificate that I got with the model. And it says Briarfest 2017 Diorama Contest Certificate of Authenticity. This document certifies that Sona, numbers, 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 is an authentic Briar mold, a model presented on mold 61 and was one of 28 awarded at the Briar, at Briarfest Gateway to India July 14th through 16th, 2017 at the Kentucky Horse Park in Lexington, Kentucky. So, uh, 28 of him ever made. I, I, that just shocks me, to be honest. Um, so there's the certificate and then here's the ribbon. There's the ribbon. I, Love the ribbon. Never had. I've never gotten one of these. Um, and it has my name on the back. I'm not going to show it. Um, but it says 2017 Briarfest Gateway to India Diorama Contest winner. So, um, and then of course it has the Briar logo on the medallion or whatever you want to call it. Um, and so whenever I got there, it was just kind of sitting across like this. Um, but yeah. Super excited. Um, I loved it. It was I had so much fun making this. Um, and I don't even I, it's kinda hard for me to take it apart. So yeah. Alright, so I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I sure did. Um and I was super pleased with the theme this year and I loved all the models that I got. And just everything seemed to work out perfectly. Um, so very, very happy with this year. Um, and I am sure next year is going to be just as good. And I even love the theme. It's back, uh, off to the races. So I hope I can see you guys next year at Briar Fest. And, um, yeah. So I guess that's the end of this video. Bye, Plastic Ponies!